people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Mattel DC Multiverse Aquaman movie wave. And just like I've been doing with the Marvel Legends waves lately, I'm just doing the whole wave all together because I found the whole wave together. And when it comes to Mattel, uh, that's like finding a unicorn or catching a leprechaun. Seeing the whole wave out in one store, in one display, at the same time, uh, yeah, I just had to get it. I was really only interested in Black Manta, maybe Aquaman, because I love Momoa. But the other two were there, Mira looked interesting, and then Orm, I've never had an Ocean Master figure, figured I'd pick him up too. And then of course there's the Collect and Connect Trench Warrior, which seems to me like an army builder, why would they put that as the build a, well, I can't, not legally a build a figure, a collect and connect figure. Either way, we're going to make a quick pass over all four of these figures, well, five, and uh, see what's going on here. Mattel, I feel like you're overcomplicating the package a little bit. You have the window, you have the picture, same picture, same picture on the back, same picture up here, this, but getting it open, I'm not saying this is Fort Knox or anything, I didn't have a lot of trouble, but man, there's a lot of tabs and pulls and what is this? kickback thing right here. It's neat. I guess for Cardi collectors it's pretty cool, but for me it's a little extravagant, a, a little over the top. But on the other hand, it is nice, so I'm just bitching the bitch, I guess. Looking at the figure itself, the sculpt is really nice. When it comes to Mattel, I'm used to a certain style, and that is here in the musculature, but then they came along and put all these scales on top of it, and these armor plates, and this kind of scale look right here, and I'm going to say that a lot during this review because every figure essentially has scales. It's it's an underwater movie, in case you didn't know. But it has the Aquaman symbol right here. These nice, nice, it's, it's kind of a grid pattern. The scales are on the outside. On the inside, it's geometric shapes, and it's a nice contrast between the two. And this right here, it does draw your eye. It does stick out. But at the same time, it adds a little something to the figure. The cape carries on that scale look too, while looking like a cape, like it is material. And it's a nice sculpt, but it is kind of thick and heavy. It's doesn't have a lot of bend to it, and the ab being what it is, it, the cape just drags it back to almost neutral position. Looking at the head, I, again, it's a nice sculpt. There isn't a lot of paint there to bring the lips out, and it's kind of shiny in the face, but I really, really like the fins on the side. Now, they are a soft rubber. They're not going to poke you. They're not going to hurt you, but then you get to here, and it's a little soft, but it's more of the head material. I like the helmet. It has that classic comic look, but it, you know, bringing it into the modern movie. Also looking real close, you can see some dots are colored in to give it kind of a shimmer, a shine, just to break that up a little bit. Now it's very, very random, which really eats at me for some reason, but I know it's supposed to be random. That's my own, you know, hang up when it comes to something like this. But on the silver parts, it's just cast in silver, and you can see that there is a change between the cast plastic and the painted plastic. There's a shine to the paint, I think that's paint, and then this cast in this gray color. Going over articulation, you can see in the back, there is a dumbbell joint in the head. There's a ball down here, a ball up here, and then a stick in between. So that allows him to look down. He can look kinda up, but nice tilt. And if you know me, I like some tilt. Hinge and swivel at the shoulder, comes out that far, swivels around, swivels around until it hits the cape. Not going any further than that. Swivel at the bicep, single elbow. It doesn't even get up to 90 because of the way it's sculpted. And on top of that, even though it looks like just a hinge, there is a swivel there too, but it doesn't get a lot of range of movement. Hinge and swivel at the wrist, it's side to side, swivel. Ab crunch goes forward one click, goes back about that far, and it is a little bit loose along with the head. You can see it flopping around a little bit. Standing on the shelf, it's not gonna just fall boop, 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 boop over. It's gonna stay in position, but there's a looseness to it. Ball coming out to the hip, can go forward, back, nice out. Look at that, Hasbro. Swivel at the thigh, double knee comes most of the way up. Hinge at the ankle goes back, goes forward. Oh, and forward facing pin for Rocker. Good job, Mattel. Okay, now that I've articulated the knee several times, there's a looseness to those too. They don't flop, but when you try to stand them, the cape really you can see it see it dragging back at the knees. For comparison, since I don't have a lot of movie DC figures from Mattel, here he is with the DC Universe Classics Aquaman. If you wanted to slip this into your comic display, that would work. And here he is with the Marvel Legends Black Panther. I nearly forgot his weapon. It's a trident. It's got some nice squigglies right here. It goes around a little bit of sculpt to it. I like the shape. But what I really like is the airbrush purple on the two ends. Sure, it's just a psh, psh, 
changed. But it adds something to a spear that could have been just a plain Jane gray spear. And then the colors match pretty nice with the body. Looking over Mira, again with the geometric shapes, but it's broken up by seam lines here and there. Again, very nice sculpt. The proportions are a little off, but at this point we're used to that with Mattel. Again, you have the Aquaman symbol for the belt buckle. The bracers are pretty cool, but it feels like the paint just kind of drifts off onto the scaly part right here. You can see it right here too, to make it a point where they didn't actually put the sculpt. And then you have that same kind of armor plate right here on the shins, but it's not painted. I haven't been following the movie. I don't like looking at spoilers before I see a movie I want to see. So maybe that's correct, maybe that's right, but I feel like that should be gold like this up here. The feet are a little bit tiny, but high heels, scales all the way around the back, and then we get up to the head. And is it just me, or is Mattel using some face printing tech now? Those eyes are way more detailed than what I'm used to when it comes to the DC line. No shading to the face, there's a little bit of shine to it, a little bit of pink to the lips, but it's the eyes that really stand out. You have kind of a dirty wash to the hair, but it does bring out the sculpt. And then her crown tiara, whatever this is up here. Now the likeness isn't perfect, but it's also not too bad. We kind of get those different colors right here, like on Orm, to show kind of a glittery, sparkly look to it. But it's just on the torso, on the front, and not even the whole front. It's like they put it here, and then for the rest of the figure, they just said, screw it, good enough. But the shininess of the semi-metallic, turquoise, greenish, bluish, whatever color her costume is, it works in its favor. Going over articulation, not a lot in the neck. I don't know if it's the hair or the actual joint or if something's stuck, but I can't get any down, I can't get any back, no tilt, little bit of rotation. Hinge and swivel in the shoulder, goes up past 90, rotates around, swivel at the bicep. Single elbow, again, doesn't quite reach 90, again, it's on a swivel too. Wrist is just a swivel, no hinge to it. Ab crunch goes forward that much, goes back that much. Swivel at the waist, really breaks up the sculpt there. Ball going out to the hip, goes for, what? Why won't it go forward? What's that? Bong, 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 bong. For some reason, she doesn't want to rotate at the hip ball. The left side goes, and actually, it's a detent. You gotta pop it past position. It goes out, though. That's weird. And out, again, pretty good. Swivel right in the middle of the thigh. Single knee comes back about 90. Hinge at the ankle, goes back, goes forward. And there is a forward-facing pin. There is some rocker, but it's the same problem as any other company has when it comes to high heels. The peg still goes down, so it just kind of rotates. It doesn't actually rock. For accessories, remember when I was talking about Ocean Master could have had a plain Jane spear? That's what Mira got. Yeah, there's some sculpt to it, a little wrap right here, uh, the head of the spear, whatever this little kick out is. The end has kind of a hook to it, and then you can see the DC copyright right there in the middle of it. And because of how thin it is, it is a little bit flimsy. But the cool things are these water effects hands they gave her. Maybe this is why she didn't get a hinge in the wrist, just the peg, these plug in. You take the hand, you pop it out, you take this hand, you pop it in, and I really, really, really like that. The pegs are a little bit small though, a little bit scary when you pop them. It's just a neat effect. It's kind of a translucent blue. It has some gray overspray right here, and then they painted the hand. Good job, Mattel. Like I said, I don't have a lot of movie figures, so here she is with the DC Universe Classics Hot Girl. And if you want to put her in your comic display, here she is with the DC Universe Classics Aquaman. Compared to a Marvel Legends, here she is with the Marvel Legends Mary Jane. Okay, attempt number three after not turning on the microphone and then forgetting to hit record. Looking at Aquaman, the proportions look... Uh, they're a little bit off, but man, they look super heroic. We get the scales on the chest again. <laughs> I'm gonna say scales so many times in this review. It has a nice orange shimmer to it, but it's a shame that the inner joint right there couldn't be the same color. But it transitions down to the geometric shapes of the green in the pants. It's a dark matte green, but when we get to the boots right here, it's a metallic green, and I love the contrast between the two. I really, really dig how this looks like seaweed flowing in the ocean, you know? Aquaman symbol, belt, looking like a bone going around to the armor. And then up to the head, the eyes, they gotta be printed. That's all I gotta say. There's just too much detail there. But I don't think they printed any of the rest of the face. The eyebrows look a little bit flat. There's some pink to the lips, and then there's a dry brush of lighter brown to bring out the detail of the beard. And that's the same for the hair. Likeness isn't perfect, but Momo is a little bit closer to capture, especially if you put that little cut in the eyebrow. You just automatically think, yup, that's Momoa. To point something out, I don't like the transition from bicep to shoulder. It's, it's really blocky. The plastic seems to be too thick, and it just kind of sticks out. Articulation-wise, there's a dumbbell up in the neck, but because of the beard, because of the hair, 
uh, it gets in the way. Not a lot of down, no up, barely any tilt. There is swivel though. Hinge of swivel at the shoulder goes up to about right there, rotates around, swivel at the bicep, elbow, uh, it wants to go 90. Hidden swivel there for whatever reason. Hinge at the wrist, swivel. And while I'm pointing that out, the hands look small, don't they? I don't, I'm not sure. Ab crunch goes forward to about right there, back to about right there. Swivel at the waist. Ball going out to the hip, and it doesn't quite go all the way up, but close. Back, out, swivel at the thigh. Double knee, and he can almost, if you really get it going, he can kick his own ass right there. Hinge at the ankle goes back goes forward and forward facing pin. For accessories, he has his trident and it's cast in kind of a translucent orange, yellowish, goldish color. But there is kind of a spray of clear metallic red to bring out the end details, kind of like the purple on orange trident. We see some kind of runes or Atlantean language right there in the middle. I don't know Atlantean, but I kind of know English and that says copyright DC, blah, 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 blah. For comparison, here he is with the DC Universe Classics Aquaman. Yes, movie figure, a little bit larger, but you could fudge it if you wanted to. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Black Panther, larger. And here he is with the Funko Game of Thrones called Drogo. Yeah, that line was wasted on itself. And then we have Black Manta looking like a total badass. The underwater breathing armor, whatever it is, it just looks cool all the way around. It's cast in a matte black, but they also came in with some gloss black in places to punch up the details. And it adds nice contrast to what could have been and what should be a, just a black set of armor. Have some red stripes right there just to add a little bit of flavor to it. On the back, again, red running down the back of the backpack. We have these jet thrusters on the back of the legs and also thrusters up here on the backpack where you can have it in this position, normal swimming. Psh but they also rotate forward for, you know, forward propulsion or all the way up to push him down or wherever you want to put it. There's two hoses running out of the back and around to the front and it's kind of driving me nuts that they're not symmetrical. This should hang here. I think it was just, is it glued on there? It's just glued in an awkward position where this just goes up. It's driving me crazy. But there's also another hose running from the back to the left forearm. And when you see that, you usually think, oh man, can't use the left arm, but it does not get in the way at all. You can go into any position you can think of with the left arm. Also on the left arm is what appears to be an arm blade, but the packaging just warped the hell out of it. Maybe some heat will straighten it up. It's just a soft piece of plastic. Then get up to the head. That's pretty much Black Manta. It's got the auburn head. It's got the big eyes. It's what I think of. It's a little bit larger than my mental picture of Black Manta, but it's okay. It's cool. You have that same contrast of gloss and matte blacks. And then up under here, you have some kind of sculpt, but to me, it kind of looks like teeth. It makes it a little bit more meaner on a subconscious level. And then just to grab a little bit, because I'm good at that, the crotch does look a little bit small and the thighs do look huge until... I realize that this is actually armor plates on the outside of his leg. You can see the line right here, and I guess it's up under the costume when it gets around to here. You can just see the faint seam right here. So I can justify that sticking out like it does. The crotch still does look a little bit small though. Going over articulation, there is a dumbbell joint in the neck. He can look down. It does want to spring back though. No up, just because too much backpack, too much head. Does have some tilt though. Can swivel. Hinge the swivel at the shoulder, comes up to there. Swivels around. Swivel at the bicep. Hinge at the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> swivel at the elbow, hinge of swivel at the wrist. Ab crunch goes forward there, back to there, and it feels like it's just one big detent, like it snaps there to there to there. You can get in between, but it doesn't feel as natural as there and there. And there. Swivel at the waist. Ball going out to the hip goes most of the way up. Back, out, all the way. Double knee, but the propulsion thing gets in the way right there. Ankle back. Ankle not so forward. The armor piece kind of crashes it. And then he's got some rocker ankle action. For accessories, Black Manta comes with a sword. And it, it's kind of short, but... It's a cool looking sword. It matches his motif perfectly. It's got the red breaking up the black a little bit. The handle it has a nice texture to it, like a grip. And oddly enough, it doesn't say China on it at all. Not that I can find anyway. But there he is holding it. See, it's kind of a short sword dagger type 
looking weapon. It also been in the package. Needs some heat like his arm blade there. For comparison, here he is with the DC Universe Classics Black Manta. About the same size. A little bit larger in the body. Definitely larger in the head. Here he is with the DC Universe Classics Aquaman. Again, this isn't his comic look, but give it a year. This will probably end up being his comic book look. And then there is the Collect and Connect figure, the Trench Warrior. And I actually filmed myself earlier putting this together. The legs are a little bit hard to pop on. The shoulders are easy to pop in and then the head somewhere in between but that footage is lost to the sands of time and silence also when I put it together this was like this and I thought oh shit I got two right arms but this rotates around at the elbow and then you bring the hand around normal and I really like this sculpt the bone on the outside looks nasty but there's also scales right here like a dude in a suit with a skeleton over that suit. You come down to the fins, those are nicely done sticking off the body, also off the back of the legs. That just continues the scales and the bones. There's bones on the outside right here. And I've heard complaints of this being fragile and such. I haven't had that problem. In fact, most of these joints have stayed tighter than the actual figures that I've opened so far. But we have the same elbow problem zero to not quite 90. Also, the paint isn't as nice as the prototype, but we're used to that. How many years has it been now where we go, oh, the prototype is hand painted and looks a lot nicer than the factory work. You can see the bone is much more bone-like right here. This is much more prominent. The pink transitions a little bit better, but it doesn't do a bad job. The pink right here going into the dry brush of gray over the dark gray brings out some of the scales and the skin detail. The fins suffer though. It's just a solid pink and it goes from dark gray to pink to bone just like that. That and the, all the trademark and copyright information is right there on the tail. At least it's in the back and not on the inside of the leg where you can see it from the front though. The, yeah, I can't grab too much. Also when you get down to the ankles it's actually the dog leg there so it goes back and forward and there is rocker with a forward facing pin but it acts like a high heel where it just rotates the foot. Going over articulation, that dumbbell joint juts forward so you get good rotation here while getting some up and down and you also get some looking side to side. So it works really well because of the angle. You also get a jaw hinge. That looks cool. You can see the tongue up in there. Hinge and swivel at the shoulder, out, swivels around, swivel at the bicep. Hinge at the elbow, doesn't wanna go. Swivel at the elbow. Hinge at the wrist, goes all the way in. The skin kind of comes back so it doesn't go back too far. Rotation, not a lot of movement to the ab crunch. That's about it right there. Swivel at the waist. Ball going to the hip, goes forward, goes back, goes all the way out. Boy, you're stomping all over some of the other companies there, Mattel. Swivel at the thigh. Double knee, and at first I thought, oh, the fin's getting in the way, but it's not even touching. It just doesn't have that much a range of movement there. The so-called ankle joint goes back, goes forward, and then there's some rotation there. Now, because of how those ankles are set up with the dog leg and no rotation down at the bottom, you gotta kind of play around. Or, or just, you know, set it down and he stands right up. Here he is with the DC Universe Classics Aquaman, the Marvel Legends Black Panther, and then the rest of the wave. I like how all these figures look like they fit together. We've seen waves before with different sculptors. Some of the figures don't quite fit together. All of these, size-wise, sculpt-wise, they look great, and especially color-wise. I dig how each one is different, very comic booky. It's like the action figure wave equivalent of a Skittles bag. <laughs> and then as always, here they are with Gus. Now if I didn't know any better, I'd think we're twins. I am not seeing that. Okay, I'll admit it, the armor does add a few pounds. Yeah, that's it. So at the end of the day, very good set. Mattel did a good job. They're upping their game back to where it was at one point. I bought the hell out of DC Universe Classics, but they started taking it away in places. They've added it back here, like the ankle rockers, the dumbbell joint that has actual movement to it, and I understand why it doesn't work here because of the hair limitations. But even with the extra articulation and the added back articulation, they still kind of suck in the elbows and it's a little bit awkward to pose here and there. My mirror, I can't get that hip joint unstuck and some of the joints have loosened up, especially in the knees. So they're not as super poseable. I keep hitting Aquaman. So they're not as super poseable as I'd like them to be, but Mattel is on the right track here. Plus, like I said, this is just a colorful damn group. They look great all together. Hopefully this movie brings back some of the magic to DC movies. I liked Wonder Woman, but yeah, let's have a little fun, DC. Because the figures themselves are quite fun. See what I did there? I brought it all the way back around. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.